To activate all of Windows features, head on over to bobkeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $14.62. That's a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 25% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. You can now enjoy all of your Windows 10 features. What? Wait, I gotta be Tech Yes City, right? No, I can't do that right now. We've got to prepare for that moment, yeah, eh? Yeah, it's gonna be a good moment. What's going on, guys? <laughs> By the way, this is the... Shut up, phone! This is the 3080 Ti build, everyone. Uh, what an interesting little car. We were having so many issues with this. Getting lots of uh, screen tearing and, and just black screens. But it turned out to be a faulty display cable after all. Um, we did a bit of testing this morning and yeah, faulty display cable. Now I'm sort of halfway through taking this apart. I started taking some of the cables and everything apart at the back. And then Emilio reminded me mm -hmm. we have to do a BTS. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, 3080 Ti, it's, it's basically the same as an RTX 3090. It's like 2% slower, but it's got half the VRAM on it, so it's actually 12 gigs instead of 24 gigs. But overall, what do you think about this system? Oh, I think it's fantastic. I it, love the motherboard thing. The motherboard, yes, the the Aorus Z590 uh, Water Force Extreme, I believe it's called. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And we've got an 11900K in there from Intel. It's unfortunate, like, I'd love to do a lot more AMD builds, but none of... At the AMD motherboards have like these crazy sort of mono blocks built into them or anything oh, like that's that. A you shame. know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. They need to make more of them because right now AMD's kind of ahead. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But uh, all of the water cooling, it's a bit of a mix of match. We've got some bits power, some EK water blocks. We made our custom coolant. Mm hmm. Yeah. Does this build kind of remind you of the other? Like, so the other build that we did in the master frame was like purple liquid and blue fans. Now this one is blue liquid, purple fans. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Switching it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, we had to pump this build out as fast as we could to get it up for launch. Now we are working on the review for the RTX 3080 Ti and that'll be coming in a few days. I hope you all enjoy this build and as always, thanks for your support, guys. Without you Patreons and YouTube members, things like this would not be possible and we wouldn't be able to do this as our full-time job. So, thanks guys, we appreciate your support. A few moments later. <laughs> <sighs> Professional, right? <laughs> Put a drain pipe in, fellas. <laughs>
And then a lot of people are saying dangerous animals. So we've got spiders all over the cables. And then of course we've got some Australian plants which Amelia actually put in there. Mm -hmm. uh, she did all the bark and, and everything like that. And basically the, fi the finishing touches, right? Yeah, I had so much fun. It was really exciting to do. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, so this is our Corsair build. Uh, we're actually gonna be pulling this apart today. The video actually went live one day ago. We need to make room for more builds though. So we're gonna pull this thing apart and uh, what about the Get A, mate? That, that, that's so just a, that's an Aussie classic, that one. Yes, it is very good. <laughs> the other idea we had was uh, getting a, an Australian beer bottle, like a VB or or something like that, that was made in Australia, and uh, turning that into a reservoir as well. But uh, fortunately, we didn't have enough time for that, so we just stuck with the sort of nature theme of Australia, which I think turned out really nice. But we are going to be pulling this apart today and uh, all good things must come to an end, unfortunately. We don't have unlimited room in here and we need to reuse the parts. Yes, and hopefully there's no real spiders hiding underneath all of that. Oh, honestly, <laughs> there's probably like five, to be honest. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I've seen an ant or two walking around. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for your support. We really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, have a good one. That's cool. Do you like the spiral, by the way? I love it. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to. Have I done an intro here? I have no We're going to do one anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to another BTS. This is the all white PC, and it turned out all white, didn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although everything's RGB at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so inside we have a power color. I think it was a 6700 XT. Uh, what was it? The Hellhound. The Hellhound in spectral white. And we actually painted the Azrock motherboard, um, all of the armor and the shields and everything on it, a white. But we're going to have to repaint that because for some reason it turned like a bit of a, had like a yellowy, creamy tinge to it. And so it didn't suit the system, but it's kind of hidden behind everything at the moment. So it was pretty good for this system. <coughs> But all in all, I think it turned out really clean. And actually the video is performing quite well. Like people seem to love the sort of cleaner builds. Don't, haven't you seen that yeah. as well? Yeah, they do, they love it. Yeah, and it's like- I can see why. Yeah. It looks really nice. So we've got our custom coolant in there. That's just uh, your clear liquid with a bit of mica powder in there. It's the pearlescent white. And so that's how you get all the swell effects inside. Uh, this build is the Antec P120 crystal case, and it's got an Antec power supply in there as well. Um, I actually forget what CPU is inside, but um, it's fully water-cooled by EK water blocks. Uh, it turned out nice and clean. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this build. Now we've just finished taking apart the Australian themed build, so it's now time to take this one apart. This one's been sitting here for, what, probably two weeks or something? <laughs> A while, now? yeah. Yeah, so time to take this one apart and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I've got for you guys. Thanks for your support, we appreciate you all. And uh, if you want to continue supporting us, Patreon and YouTube channel memberships is the best way to do that. I just want to say your outfit matches the PC. Yes, it does. <laughs> Did you plan that? Uh, no, not at all. Wow. In fact, I don't even know if I'm wearing a shirt. Yes, I am. Look at that. <laughs> Here is our lovely uh, red and black PC. You actually haven't done a red and black one for a while, right? Yeah. But um, for those of you who don't know, and there are a lot of you out there, gosh, <laughs> That <laughs> almost fell apart. <laughs> Whoops. We build PCs as display PCs, right? Inside of here we've got the ASUS RTX 3090, the EK water block version, and an 11900K 
The radiator is only 240 millimeters. Nowhere near good enough to cool these, but this is only a display PC. It gets built, put on display, and then taken apart. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be taking this thing apart, packing it all up because the room is an absolute mess at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I'm pretty much, don't you hear me shouting out like every couple of seconds, like, because I kicked something accidentally? Yes, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's where we're up to today, taking this thing apart. Uh, this is the Thermaltake AHT200, uh, and it kind of looks like an attack helicopter a bit. Like, imagine if it had the um, the tail of the helicopter oh, on there yeah. and the propellers on the top. Yeah, that would look this cool. This is kind of like the body of the, the helicopter. That would make a good mod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. I think I've seen someone do it as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it turned out really nice. I'm pretty sure one of these fans are like slightly pinker than the other one, but anyway, we'll ignore that. <laughs> it's kind of hidden anyway, so it's all good. Um, there's not much more to say really. 11900K, RTX 3090, fully water-cooled, uh, thermal take, liquid cooling, and fans, so that's pretty much it. We appreciate your support, guys, uh, thanks a lot.